My name is Lisa Butcher. I'm a speech language pathologist here at the Lions Voice Clinic, part of the University of Minnesota and M Health. And I've been here for nine years. I'm voice specialty, and singing has always been my passion. And I also sing with the Minnesota Opera Company. Thank you so much for coming today. I'm so excited to see a really nice group of people here. We are having our little World Voice Day celebration. We're here in the Clinics and Surgery Center at the University of Minnesota. Uh, this is where we provide care for our patients with voice issues. This is a warm and welcoming atmosphere for, for patients with voice issues, including our transgender friends uh, who can come here for specific voice-related treatments. So this is a version of the larynx. We have the thyroid notch, Adam's apple, I like to call it Eve's apple. There are many, many connections to our voice and identities. Supporting transgender voice in the community, our intent is really to help them find the voice that they're looking for. Try that baseball move for me again. So we're going to breathe in. Honey. Nice. Isn't that amazing? If we feel that our voice is not congruent with our identity, that can be a huge disconnect for people and can cause vocal dysphoria for some. Let's play with our voices for a little bit. I'll do it with you. Ready? Okay. We're going to breathe in. No named her newborn Ned. I'm trying to understand where that line is for people and how can I help them to find their true voice. I feel like this is kind of the next step for me. Um, to kind of get some help with some of the personal goals that I have and to get a lot of support and to be in an environment that feels like a safe space and that could address some of the specific vocal issues I have with having a trans voice as well as a lot of the emotional blockage and kind of the trauma and protectiveness that a lot of trans people have. From my heart, I feel I can really associate with this group. Uh, I. I'm not. I'm a total straight cis female, I know, but um, I've grown up in Minnesota in a white community, biracial. Still, on a regular, maybe even weekly basis, I can't really go around without somebody asking me what I am. And so that is where I really feel um, I can relate to this in some way. I know what that feels like, and I want to help other people feel comfortable talking about themselves. I'm more relaxed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so this is good. Uh, you're, you looked more relaxed. Your neck was more relaxed. It was a really big stretch just signing up for a voice lesson. Like, that was a big step of growth for me. Um, but it really felt like it, it helped a lot. Like, it felt like it freed up something that has been wanting to come out that I have been repressing and blocking. So it feels empowering, and I feel excited to kind of take the next step on that journey for myself. Uh, first group up is going to be the uh, Trans Voices Festival Chorus, so would you all please wend your way to the stage. I hope they know that I'm here for them. I want to listen to their needs. I want to be encouraging yet firm in helping guide them to where they want to go and I'm hoping to walk that journey with them as they find their voice. 